Would you all please rise as you are able for the entrance of the brides? <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome, everyone. We are gathered here on this momentous afternoon in the presence of sacred energy, in the midst of all the majestic forces of the universe and these good witnesses. As you two, Haley, Elizabeth, Lily, and Kendra Marie Klein Cross, declare your commitment and love for one another by joining together in marriage a rite of passage flowing out of the very nature of our being and made honorable by good people throughout all time. You enter upon this path together with reverence and joy, aware of the hopes and dreams you hold in your hearts and soberly aware of the continual learning that must always take place in this sacred commitment to journey as one with another. So enter. Enter upon this path in the knowledge that love is both humankind's highest achievement and the most precious gift of the source of all. If life has any meaning to us at all, it possesses it because of love. 
which enshrines and ennobles our human experience. It is the basis of the peace of the family and the peace of the people of the earth. The greatest gift bestowed upon humans is the gift not of demanding, but of giving love. Into this holy estate, you two come now to be joined in ceremony, to mark what is inner and real, a sacred union of your hearts and lives, which though today we may bless, we are not able to create. Only you can do that. And so with that in mind, I invite us all now to join together in the spirit of prayer. We call on you, sacred source of all, known by many names and no name at all, in the presence of all creation, that this relationship may be deeply rooted in the community of family and friends who have gathered here and within these two who are celebrating the joining of their lives today. We call on you that this union may reach out to others and gather the richness of even more community around it. We call on you that this relationship may cause the respective talents and desires of both partners to grow. We call on you that this love may create new love and their devotion bring forth new discoveries in one another. May this ever be so. Blessed be. Blessed be. And you all can sit. You may be seated. And so you will notice in your program a collective reading. And I invite us all to say that reading at this time. And let us begin. If ever there is tomorrow when we're not together, there is something you must always remember. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Even if we're apart, I'll always be there for you. Haley and Kendra, you have invited us to witness the happiness which you have found in each other. And so now I ask, are you now prepared to enter into this covenant of love? If so, please say, yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I invite you to take a moment to gaze at this amazing group of people who have chosen to be here on behalf of your love. Dear family and friends, as you all have played an important part in Haley and Kendra's lives thus far, they are asking you now for your affectionate blessing upon them for the future they have chosen. To Haley's family, do you give your blessing? If so, please say, yes, we do. Yes, we, yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> and to Kendra's family, do you give your blessing? If so, please say, yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right. <laughs> and to all of you who have gathered here as chosen family and friends, do you give your blessing? If so, please say, yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Garnets have a unique significance in this love. And so at this time, Haley and Kendra will exchange garnets in the spirit of love, magic, and fusion. I'll let you know when to open. Okay. 
These garnets represent your promise that no matter what lot paths you may cross, storms you may face, or decisions you make, you will always return safely to one another. That your relationship is strong because you choose to make it so. Your love is as unwavering as your will. Your fire is as steady as your earth and your earth as wild as your fire. You are one, not because you need to be, but because you choose to be. You are one because together you can see, together you are strong, together but still you, you, yet also one, entirely new. Please open your boxes and exchange your garnets. Hand in hand, gem to gem, you make your home on this planet in each other. You are more than the two of you. You are her fury, you are her patience, you are a conversation. You are made. Oh gosh. There you go. My shoe is stuck in the mud. <laughs> Oops. They're not fragile, they're rocks. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, Haley. Please take Kendra's hand and say to her your personal vows. There are many things. Is it mm -hmm. Testing. Check. check, check. Test, check. There you check. go. It's on. Okay, cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There are many things on this planet that are so beautiful it feels like pure magic. Like the tide finally rushing past your toes after treading through the hot afternoon sand. The vibrations of your favorite music that runs through your veins and echoes in your chest. Or the moment you realize how many stars sit in the night sky burning everlasting. And then there's you, Kendra. <laughs> I am so beyond proud of us for being here today. You are more than just my lover, you're my best friend. You are home to me. <laughs> You've taught me patience, trust, and how to truly love myself. You remind me that I am strong and intelligent and worthy of a love this magical. With you, I know who I am and who I want to be. Kendra, you make me a better person, and for that, I am so grateful. I'll never forget the evening we celebrated our 11-month anniversary. <laughs> When you asked me, what if we don't feel the same way in the future? And I looked at you, and I said, well, we won't. And you looked really confused for a second, but I responded, and I said, because I'm going to love you even more. I love you more than I did yesterday, and even more tomorrow. And it's been over four and a half years, and we still say, I love you more. Our journey together has felt so effortless. It's not surprising that I fell in love with you, Kendra. What's not to love? Your energy is so contagious. The way you see the universe and how you make it your playground has always been an adventure. Not a single day has gone by with a dull moment. You really are the light of my life. For those who do not know, our fate was sealed with a shooting star on our first date. And from that moment, I knew I had to make this happen. Not to mention how you lost your favorite ring that night as well, the one you wore on your ring finger. The universe had decided I should be the one to replace it. But fate aside, I wanted this. I have dreamt of this moment, and as Garnet once said, there are millions of possibilities for the future, but it's up to you to choose what becomes reality. From the beginning, I chose you, and today and tomorrow, it will still be you, Kendra. This is my first promise, to always choose you. Furthermore, I promise to make you feel wanted, feel loved, and to feel beautiful. I promise that I'll always have open ears and a warm heart to rest your head on at night. I promise to pour my love into our home and nourish our bodies with the yummiest meals. I promise to always make you smile and laugh, 
even if I have to resort to a cringy pickup line. I promise to continue to work on myself so that I am an even better partner than I was the day before. I promise to forever be your best friend through the most joyful times in our lives and the roughest. My love for you knows no limit. I'll always be on your team. I vow my sincerest devotion to you, Kendra. With you, my gem, we will take on the world. <laughs> yeah. Nothing else. And that was good, baby. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and Kendra, please say to Haley okay. your personal vows. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. My love, my partner in crime, my best friend. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. From your crazy curly hair to your firecracker wit, from your bathroom singing to your vicious loyalty, from your green eyes to your purple toes. In the first poem I ever wrote you, I told you you were perfect. Not in the sterile, flawless way, but in the genuine heart of gold, spend the rest of my life trying to figure you out kind of way. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life figuring you out. On our 11 month anniversary, I came to you in the shower, crying, and asked, what if we don't feel the same way in a year? And you said, baby, we won't. In a year, I'll love you more. In a world where change is so every day and so hard, you took that in stride with the complete certainty that it would be positive change. Thank you. So today, I promise to always love you more. I promise to strive to be a better person, a better partner, every day. I promise to never stop dating you. I promise to kiss your forehead every morning. I promise to always put toothpaste on your toothbrush. I promise to do the laundry, and I promise to remind you to do the dishes. I promise to buy more plants, even when we don't need them. And I promise to sit down and listen, even when you think you don't need it. I promise to always work on us. I promise to put in the effort, and I even promise to let you put your icicle feet on mine at night. I promise to let you sleep five more minutes, and I promise to wake you gently on the hard mornings. I promise to play video games with you, and I promise to bring you your tea when you forget about it. I promise to love you just as fiercely as I do softly. I promise to always leave my doors open to you. I think we have proven time and time again that we can get through anything together, but in case it wasn't glaringly obvious, I will hold your hand through anything. I will be by your side through everything. When the world is too loud, I will shield you. And when it is too quiet, I will be your son. Never will your back go unwashed or your bed go unmade. Never will you face a storm alone, and never will your fingers be lonely. I can't wait to travel the world with you. I will hold these hands on the cusp of the Grand Canyon. I will run with these feet through the tulip fields of Holland. I will jump with this strength into the ocean in Australia. I will satiate these minds in the museums and libraries of London. I will cuddle with these bodies in the blizzards of Canada. I will spoil these tummies in the eating houses of Japan. I will satisfy these eyes with the beauty of Greece. I will warm these muscles in the slopes of the Alps. Across the earth, I shall love you. May every galaxy in the universe smile down upon us. We are two atoms of the same star, water from the same ocean, energy from the same gem. We are ancient. The gods cut us from the stone with our arms wrapped around each other. The scientists heaved our hearts beating in harmony from the ocean depths. The writers dripped us onto the page, hands clasped in dance. I know why you feel so much like home. We have loved each other for eternity. You are not only something that is, but something that has been and always will be. It is why we fit. We are atoms of the same stars striving to become their galaxy once again. When we met, we concluded and began the universe all in one touch. And I will love you as long as my energy swirls the cosmos. In my next life, I will find you. <laughs> and for this life, I will love you with every vibration of my soul, with every golden beat of my heart, I will love you. This I vow. Oh. Oh, pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Part part's over. Got it. Oh, no, I still need the mic. <laughs> These are the big ones. So, Haley. Oh, yes. <laughs> please repeat after me. You can hold. You can hold Kendra's hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I, Haley Elizabeth Lilly. I, Haley Elizabeth Lilly. Take you, Kendra Marie Klein Cross. Take you, Marie, Kendra Marie Klein Cross. <laughs> it's a couple minutes. Yeah. 
Loving what I know of you, trusting what I don't yet know. Loving what I know of you, trusting what I don't yet know. With respect for your integrity. With respect for your integrity. And faith in your abiding love for me. And faith in your abiding love for me. I accept you as my wife. I accept you as my wife. Kendra, please repeat after me. I, Kendra Marie Klein Cross. I, Kendra Marie Klein Cross. Take you, Haley Elizabeth Lilly. Take you, Haley Elizabeth Lilly. To be no other than yourself. To be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you, trusting what I don't yet know. Loving what I know of you and trusting what I don't yet know. With respect for your integrity. With respect for your integrity. And faith in your abiding love for me. And faith in your abiding love for me. I accept you as my wife. I accept you as my wife. So what symbols of, do you have of these vows you take? pages. <laughs> okay. So each of these rings forms a circle. The circle is a symbol of the sun and earth and the universe of wholeness and of peace. We are witnesses now to the sealing of your promises with these rings, a sign and token of the oneness that has grown between you. I bless these rings as a symbol of your chosen unity that your two lives shall now be joined in one unbroken circle. Kendra, Kendra. <laughs> This Place this ring <laughs> on the third finger of Haley's left hand. Hold her hand and repeat after me. Like again. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And with it, I pledge my honor, my love. And with it, I pledge my honor, my love. And my friendship. And my friendship. Haley, place this ring on the third finger of Kendra's left hand. Hold her hand and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And with it, I pledge my honor, my love, and my friendship. And with this, I pledge my honor, my love, and my friendship. For as much as you, Haley and Kendra, have chosen each other and have promised each other your love and devotion, may your lives together be richly blessed because of the love you have for each other and the love and caring bestowed upon you by this gathered community. It is my profound joy to proclaim, therefore, what you have already made real and holy with the authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina. I acknowledge with the blessings of all that is sacred and in this assembly of family and friends that you are married. You are partners to each other forevermore. It is an ancient custom to seal all great covenants with a kiss. It is with great joy and delight that I present to you Haley and Kendra Klein Cross.